just north of South Korea. North Korea has fired a ballistic missile into the sea after a break of two months. But why now? Well, it comes at a time when U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is on South Korean soil. According to South Korea's military, multiple short-range missiles were fired from a region south of the North's capital, Pyongyang. Japan's defense ministry said that three missiles were launched and traveled about 350 kilometers with a maximum altitude of 50 kilometers. Later, Japanese authorities said that it was detected that a, what appeared to be a second ballistic missile launch by the North and that both fell outside Japan's exclusive economic zone. North Korea has repeatedly launched ballistic missiles quite often since the beginning of this year. A series of actions by North Korea threaten the peace and security of our country, the region and the international community and are absolutely unacceptable. Giving you a brief look back at North Korea's missile launches since the beginning of this year, 2024, on the 14th of January, North Korea fired an intermediate-range hypersonic missile. Then a month later, it launched multiple cruise missiles off its east coast, and that included a new surface-to-sea missile. The latest launch comes as the militaries of South Korea and the United States carried out large-scale annual joint military drills. The drills that lasted for 10 days ended on the 14th of March. Meanwhile, Blinken's visit to Seoul comes as allies are stepping up efforts to execute the so-called extended deterrence in response to security threats from North Korea. Blinken is attending the third summit for democracy conference hosted by South Korea. The summit is an initiative of U.S. President Joe Biden, where the U.S. Secretary of State will be meeting South Korean counterpart Cho Tae-yol.